Hopefully everybody's doing great. I am, as always, living the dream. Um, today we're going to look at some professional news headlines and try to figure out why on earth they're professionals. But before we get into that, I would like to just take a minute to tell everybody thank you so much for all your support, all the subscribes and likes and shares. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, you know, go ahead, take a minute now, hit that little bell. A little thumbs up, share to your favorite platforms. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. So let's just get right into it. Uh, this first one <laughs> Rain creates wet roads. Just in case you guys weren't sure how the roads were getting wet, apparently it is caused by rain. This is breaking news, groundbreaking, and hopefully this will help you now. You guys know, we have solved the mystery. We didn't even need Scooby. But, uh, yeah, so the rain is what's creating all the havoc. All the wetness is coming from the rain. I know, I'm mind blown. It's a shocker. This next one. <laughs> Miss Ippies? Miss Ippies. Literacy program shows improvement. No. It doesn't, and if it does, you are not a part of it. You did not go to that program because your liter literacy program is not working at all. This, this is one of the first words you learn to spell. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -I, -I. I, I don't understand. And nope, it's Miss Ippies. Miss Ippies? I don't know where Miss Ippie is, but apparently there they are. their literacy is improving by the day. But in Mississippi, it seems to just be going downhill. Why? Do they not proofread anymore? Is it not a thing? There's not another person that looks this over and says, Oh, look here. Or maybe there is, and they're all dumb. I just, just one dumb ass to the next going, Yeah, it looks great. Good job, Carl. Thanks. Thanks. Worked long and hard on that one. Long and hard. Homicide victims rarely talk to police. I know that seems odd, because once you're murdered, you'd think you'd want to open right up to the police and let them know who murdered you. However, I can see where that might get tricky. Unless the cop also happens to be a medium, there's a really good chance that a homicide victim is probably not going to be real chatty. And if he is, you might not want to talk to him. That's not who you want to talk to, is the, the dead guy. It's not. Although it probably would make your job a little easier. I, get, I just, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. And I know what they're going to, I mean, I get it. Beforehand, there's obviously some trouble. They probably should have went to the police. But I don't know if you guys know much about the police. But sometimes you can have the greatest of intentions and then they treat you like a suspect. I've had that happen to me before. And it wasn't nice. So I, I get it. So, this, this one, guys, who knew? Breathing oxygen linked to staying alive. What? <laughs> no, say it isn't so. You, we're doing something right. We're breathing the oxygen. <sighs> we're doing it. We're staying alive. And once we are murdered, we will not talk to the police. So, I guess do it now while you're breathing that oxygen. I... Why is this a study? Why are they studying this? Why is this an article? Why is this an article? Who doesn't know this? Who picked up the paper and went, Oh, holy hell. I should have been breathing oxygen all this time. No one. No one's doing that. No no one's that stupid. Just why? I, I'm at a total loss. Total loss at why this is news at all. <clears throat> Federal agents raid gun shop. Find weapons. No shit, Sherlock. 
They found weapons in a gun shop. That seems odd to me. What did you, was it a Nerf gun shop? Was it a toy gun shop? I don't think so. It was a gun shop. So there were weapons probably on hand. I'm just saying. I I don't understand why this is a front a big article here. Of course you found weapons. Of course you did. Now, you might want to say they found weapons that weren't supposed to be there, illegal weapons, that's a little different. But in a gun shop, you're going to find guns and bullets probably. There's probably a few bullets running around. Might be a knife or two. I'm just spitballing, just spitballing. But, you know, the next time you're in your local gun shop, look around, see, see if you see any weapons. And don't be surprised if they're there. That's all I'm saying. Don't call the federal agents. It's not a big deal. Just moments before this guy talked to the police, this man was killed to death. He was killed to death, which is, which is terrible because he could have almost not been killed to death. He might have just been killed to almost to death. I, I don't know what word you don't understand, killed or death, but there's no reason for them to be in the same sentence. And it's not even an explanation of how the guy died. He, the guy was killed to death. Okay. Was he ran over? Was he shot? Was he hit by lightning? Nope. He was just killed to death. That's all there is to it. No, no. Just no. Even the guy talking looks confused. Like, what? He was killed to death? He, you know, he's like, why they got me out here? Damn streets are wet from the rain, and this guy won't talk to the cops. I've been killed to death. And I'm out here. Here I am. Telling people how stupid we are. Here I am. I don't know. A nuclear explosion would be a disaster. <laughs> is there anyone that doesn't know that? I mean, is it, I guess maybe there are. Maybe there's people who think we should totally nuke somebody. Of course it's going to be a disaster. It's a nuclear explosion. A nuclear explosion. It's bound to be a disaster. And then we're all going to be killed to death. Just so you know, none of us will be talking to the officers because we're all going to be killed to death in the nuclear explosion. This is... I, this is not news, people. This is not news. Is this what you had? This is what you had to run with? You had a deadline and you just thought, Psh, looky here, let's just take the most basic idea and make it into a news story. I, and what did you say after this? There, there's nothing to lead on after that. We get it. It'd be a disaster. You don't need to explain. There's no need to explain. But he did. He went on to explain, I'm sure. Overeating can set stage for obesity. And I don't know who doesn't know that. For You know, I've been blaming the spoon and fork for years. Pasta. Damn you, pasta. Tacos. Oh, tacos. I love you, tacos. I get it. Overeating those things lead to obesity. I 100%. Again, probably not newsworthy, especially not, and researchers, this is, re researchers are doing this. This is a research cause. Somebody gave these people a grant, gave them money to research. Overeating leads to obesity. Why? Can I get some money? Can I get a grant? I'll research some dumb shit. I really will. I'll go out and test the roads for wetness. I, whatever it takes. Send me some grant money. I got you. Nope. Rape fruit. It's good for every meal. And I know what they tried to do here, guys, but it doesn't work. Rape fruit. <laughs> because roofies aren't just for the bar anymore, ladies. Now you can check them out in your local produce section. What in the hell is wrong? Rape fruit. I... <laughs> is this some new flavor I'm going to be seeing? Can I get a, you know, a rape fruit smoothie? Probably not. Rape fruit monster. I don't know. We'll have some rape fruit coffee before long. I'm sure some coffee place will take this up, but rape fruit, I just, and again, I see what they were trying to do here, but it didn't work. It doesn't work. It's rape fruit. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> Bring your lube. <laughs> and on with that, girls, still st girls school still offering something special. Head. <laughs> First off, ladies, and look, okay, look at the creepy lady, like, she's like, bring me your wiener, but, uh, I'm so sorry, but 
it, I, I didn't know there was a school for this, first and foremost. I'm not sure <laughs> what parents would be signing them up for this. I realize this is some kind of weird typo or something wrong. Or we're not seeing the whole headline or something. But, come on. Again, back to no one, no one else is reading this. No one else sees this. No one says, oh, that might not work. That might not work. Oh, swear. that school is filled up fast, but not with women. It gets, this is like a girl's school. Like, what are they doing? They have, like, CPR dummies, only they're anatomically correct. Is that what's going on? I don't know, but I'm telling you what, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Here it is, right here in print. Right here, in print. So, anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you like these, go ahead and give my old thumbs up smash there. Hit that subscribe button, and... Until next time, guys, just keep smiling, keep laughing, and I'll keep living the dream. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.